Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you a video on how, like, on a little review about Yardley's pomegranate soap. I have to admit, at first I did not know it was pomegranate soap, I thought it was the rose soap, because they both have the same colour, as you can see. Sorry about the quality, it's just really dark in my room, and it's night. Anyways, um, basically, pomegranate... I, when I read it, I thought, well, I might just give this back because I don't know if I'm even going to like this. Because pomegranate really isn't a thing you think of when you think of a really nice soap. You think of something like strawberry or um, rose, like I said, because I absolutely love them sort of flavours. So, but I thought I'll still try it because my mum told me, just try it and see how you get on. And yeah, so when I first tried it, I wasn't exactly a fan on it because it didn't smell too particularly nice it was really really strong but i have to admit it smoothed up my skin really really nicely and i like obviously wash my hands of it and my hands were so baby soft compared to any of the other yardley soaps that i use and i've decided that if i'm going to get another yardley soap which i didn't think i'm going to now i'm just going to go back to getting body uh, shop stuff um but if you really like yardley soap and you've never tried the pomegranate, try it. It's sort of, it's quite big. It, it's fairly big compared to the other ones. The other ones are about that big. That's how big they are. Um, yeah. I'd be careful because this, honestly, I put it down for about a minute, picked it back up, and it was clumped with hair because it, it's just quite a sticky one. I know that sounds weird, but it's really, really sticky. It's not like a really smooth one. You can just wipe stuff off of it. Um... It's a hard, I have to say, it's quite hard, like, say you put it in the water and you scrub on with it. It takes ages to actually get some, like, really on your flannel or on your hands. Because it's, like, really, really like that. At the moment, my whole room is smelling of it because I've just put it in here. Just to show you, it's not me in my bathroom. You can't really smell it in my bathroom. So it just smells of, like, any other soap. Um, But this is, like, really, really, really strong. It's really nice, I have to say. But being really, really strong is, I think, it's a thing I don't really like about it. The flavour is alright, I guess. It smells really, really like flowers and fruit mixed together. Like berries, and I can't explain. I think it's... I can smell, like, jasmine in it. And... <laughs> it's... Oh my god, it's like so nice. But also, the thing is, they actually, I don't know if you can see that, they have pomegranate seeds in it. Um, I haven't got down to a pomegranate seed yet, so I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm just washing my skin. But I expect, I sort of suppose it like foliates your skin. Exfoliates. Um, foliates? Why did I say that? Exfoliates your skin. But I'm not exactly sure. Um, but yeah. So, if you are thinking of buying a soap that's from Yardley, I would either recommend this or the rose. I am ran out of rose, so I can't even explain that because I need to smell it to know it. It basically smells of rose. It's like really, really nice roses, but a bit more like perfumey scent. Obviously, all flowers, they don't smell like a real flower because they smell more, smell more of the perfumey sort of scent of it. Anyways, um... If you can comment down below, like, whatever reviews you uh, want me to do. If there's anything you want me to get from Body Shop, I probably will get it. I live in Norwich and, yeah, in England. So, mm -hmm. um, I do go to America quite a lot. So, if I'm going to get some, like, if I do go there, I will go to Bath and Body Works. Because I've been seeing, like, loads and loads of, like, um, reviews and, like, hauls. And I've just, I just really, really want to go there now. So, I might just... Ask my granddad for like some Bath and Body Works stuff for Christmas, but I just have to wait and see what I'm gonna get. Um, yeah, I will probably make a next video Sunday, or yeah, it will be late Sunday if it is Sunday, if not Monday again, because on Sunday I'm sleeping around my friends. Um, or Saturday to Sunday, but still, um, yeah, and look, I, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning, I can't remember, but on Christmas Day, I will be doing a video of me getting up. I will have already done my hair and everything, obviously. But I will do a video of me getting up and opening my presents. And then in the late, like, sort of in the afternoon-y sort of thing, after I've eaten or something, I will go in my room here 
and I'll really really quickly make a video of my reviews of what I've got which hopefully will be Bath and Body Works and Body Shop stuff um, that'll hopefully be a haul um, and then I'll go back down and spend time with my granddad and nan and mum and dad and stuff like that yeah but still if there's like anything you want me to do I, I don't know maybe if I like become if I do become YouTube famous I will be doing giveaways if I can get stuff like that, I will be doing giveaways for like a contest winner. I will put my fa my Facebook, my Twitter down below. I don't think oh, I don't think I'll put my Facebook down below just yet. Yeah, because I don't exactly go on Facebook anymore. I go on Twitter, and my Instagram photos, my Instagram name, even I can't speak today, will be down below. And sorry if you just heard someone burp. I don't know who it was. Um. Yeah. Anyways, this video has gone on for long enough. I think. Um, it's sort of late and I'm going to bed in half an hour because I'm so tired and I have school in the morning and I don't want to have bags under my eyes. So yeah, I will probably, ma I'll make another video Sunday on Monday. So I'll see you Sunday on Monday. Um, I'm not exactly sure what else to say. Um, please comment down below anything, please. Not hate. I don't want hate messages. If I get hate messages then I will just report you because it's really, really annoying. And I actually have to think I've ever got any hate messages anyways um yeah so love you guys bye <laughs>